Hello, I'm so excited you're here and that you downloaded the Posing with Purpose prompts. Um, this guide will take you through and show you how to pose with purpose so that you can um, take your couples through posing very easily. So let's get started. The very first thing I do when I start working with a couple is I tell them just to hold hands. This is a very easy prompt for couples to work together. And even if you're working with families, a maternity session, whatever it is that you might be doing, people very naturally hold hands. They hold hands with their kids. They hold hands with their significant other um, or whoever might be in the photo. Usually people are really comfortable holding hands with each other. So this is a great way to get started. You just hold hands. Then from this pose, you can naturally move into other things like looking at each other, looking away from each other, leaning in for a kiss. One person looks at you while they look at the other person and vice versa. So you need to do a lot of poses and really comfortably be starting with just holding hands. Another really fun um, prompt to start with is to make your partner giggle. This can be a lot of fun. Um, if you're working with a family, again, this works really well with them. You can tell the parents to make the kids giggle, like whatever it is that might help make the person giggle. Um, I usually will tell one person to like whisper into the other person's ear. So in this one, I told him, I said, just whisper in her ear. And I actually wanted a more sweet response here. So I said, tell her the first thing you noticed that you loved about her. And then as you can see, that made her smile and go in for a kiss. And so that led to all kinds of things, right? And um, this one, I wanted a little more something funny. And so I told him to, I told her to whisper to him first and he kind of laughed at me and giggled. And then I told him, I said, I want you to whisper into her ear something that's going to make her laugh. Whatever he said totally made her laugh. We got this reaction out of it. And then when she was done laughing, he kind of kissed her like, oh yeah, I know I made you laugh. I'm sorry. Um, I have a feeling it was something inappropriate. I think guys tend to do that. Um, okay. So Another one that you, that's really easy is the walk away. And I tell them if this is a couple and you know, they drink or whatever, you can say walk like you're drunk. Obviously if you're working with kids, you don't want to say that because that doesn't make any sense to them. So if it's a family or something, I'll just say like walk away and do it really exaggerated and go real slow. And sometimes I'll say like, go to my snap or go to my clap. This way they walk slow and they kind of bump into each other and they bump away and it gives you some really natural um, movement as they walk. And then with couples, a lot of times I'll say lean in for a kiss or look back at me as you walk. So that one can lead to a lot of different fun angles and um, different variety just from walking. And I don't have them walk far and I don't have them walk fast. Another one is if they bring any props to play with. So I always tell my couples to go ahead and bring a prop or something that they do as a couple. Sometimes they'll bring a book. Sometimes they'll bring food to share. Sometimes they'll bring um, music to listen to. Um, just whatever it is that they like doing as a couple, a bike, kites, whatever. Um, she decided to bring along a couple things. They had a hammock in this photo shoot, a couple outfit changes, and she brought this hat. And so I told him like to play with her hat and to just be silly with it. I told her to throw her leg up. So this is a time to really get them to have a lot of movement and be playful with each other. And again, if you have a family, maybe they bring a blanket and they throw it around with each other. Um, so just getting them to play with their props. Another fun one to do is to tell them let's sit and cuddle. So this prompt is to get cuddly, close your eyes and just breathe. For this pose, you really want them to sit together. And I usually have one person sit first in front of the other and then kind of lean back into them. And I'll shoot this in a lot of different angles. So um, she, she sat actually next to him and threw her feet over him. Um, and that was super cute. And then... This couple was doing coffee before their elopement in the morning and she just sat next to him and kind of leaned into him and grabbed onto him. I told him to smell her hair. Um, and then this was a maternity session and I she just leaned into him, cuddled in. I had them touch foreheads and both looked down at the belly. And I always remind them, look with your eyes, not your chin, so they're not like this away from the camera. Um, so sitting can lead to like a lot of different variety for people. 
Another one that I really love for all different kinds of photo shoots is the bear hug. So if you have a family, you can have dad do a big bear hug around everyone. If it's a maturity session, I say bear hug the belly and the mama. If it's a couple, um, then the bear hug kind of looks like this, right? And they might look off in the distance together or whisper in each other's ears or give a little kiss wherever it lands. Um, sometimes I'll have him run and give the bear hug. So she was standing there and I told him like, this is what I want you to do. And then he ran up behind her and gave her a little bear hug. The wind picked up right after that. And I got this shot right after, um, this is also a great one for weddings and engagements. If you want to show off the wedding ring, um, it's a great pose to go into that as well. Then I always put this kind of towards the end of a session. This is something that's a little more playful. Again, if you have kids, you can have them all twirl. You can have parents swinging a blanket and have them twirl under it. You can have mom twirling them or dad twirling them. Um, there's a lot of different fun things you can do with this, but also with couples, it's a fun way to show off a wedding dress. If you have someone in a wedding dress, they can kind of spin their dress around, have him look at her while she twirls. Um, or you can prompt them to pick each other up. Now, the twirl is kind of what I pick when I can tell they're uncomfortable being picked up. If you feel like they want to be picked up, this is a great time for dad to give kids a piggyback ride or for um, a couple to pick up their partner. There's a couple different ways to do this. If they're not totally comfortable with being picked up, you can do the twirl. You can also do this one where they just kick their leg up and he grabs onto her leg or this one where is they're comfortable being picked up, then you would say, just reach under her butt and she's gonna lean her chest into you as she throws her arms around you. And all you're gonna do is lean back and she's gonna kick her legs up. So he barely has to lift it all. This keeps it all really safe. Um, and then if they feel really comfortable and they're a strong couple in being picked up and moved around and you know he has a good back and everything's solid, you can also do the fireman carry. Um, another one is just come follow me. And for this one, um, you just kind of, the prompt I usually say is like, pull your love off into a big adventure or grab mom and dad and pull them to the next adventure. This pose is one where you want them to have hold, be holding hands. And then you have one of them walk a few steps in front of the other. This can be really cute with a family too. If you can have like it go from tallest to shortest and the tallest person's kind of pulling them along or vice versa, the littlest person pulling the family along. Um, with couples, it kind of looks like this. He was kind of pulling her and then they looked back at me and smiled. Again, he's pulling her across the bridge. Here she's pulling him towards the sunset. So this just gives a little play. You want that playful tension in photos. And so it doesn't look like um, too forced, it gives that purpose of they're actually moving somewhere and going somewhere. So all of these directions and prompts are very purposeful to give them some kind of movement and something that they're achieving. So they don't feel like they're just standing there being stiff and awkward in front of the camera. Plus it looks really natural in the photos. Another one that I love to do is called the lock and look. And so for this one, um, you lock onto your partner's arm and you look away and then you look at each other. It's a really fun pose and it's really easy. You have one of them stand with their hands in their pockets and the other one locks their arms into them. Um, this got out of order, I feel like. But this is it. There it is. Okay, so... Um, see how he's put his thumbs in his pockets. She's locked onto his arm. She can look down at his dress. She, he's looking at her. She, I also did ones where I said, look back up at him, had him look at me and her look down and vice versa. They can look at each other. They can kiss. Um, they can turn around here. You can have the bride, if she's in a bridal gown with like a big train, turn around so you can see the train from the back and he's facing you. And then they can look at each other as they're facing opposite, opposite directions. This is kind of the same pose, but just cuddled in a little more. Um, and then you have a flirt with your eyes. So this one, you just prompt them by saying flirt with your eyes and you can say like, who's the biggest flirt to kind of get them laughing and engaged and giggling, telling them to do some Eskimo kisses and just be flirty with each other. And what I say is like, you can't move your hands. So you really have to flirt with your eyes. You can't talk and you can't move your hands from where they're at and you have to use your eyes to flirt. 
And um, like this one, I had them on other sides of the board and I said, as you look around at each other, I want you to flirt with your eyes. You can't say anything to each other. You just have to flirt with your eyes. This was a real wedding where they got married on a paddle board. It was super cute. Here is another one that gets really cuddly and intimate. And I like kind of towards the end of the evening um, and just be like, grab her face, flirt with her eyes, no kissing allowed, just flirting. And then I'll eventually let them kiss. So that is a wrap on some really quick posing. And just as quick as I taught that to you is how fast I move through those poses. So a lot of times like on a wedding day, if um, we get behind or we don't have a lot of time left for sunset photos or the sun's going fast or the weather changes on an elopement and I don't have a lot of time for the photos that I had planned, I can move them through these poses really quickly and get a huge variety of, of poses for their couple photos in a really short amount of time. So having these poses kind of in your back pop pocket and memorizing them and thinking of these prompts and kind of having them in your head will really give you an advantage when you're working with couples to make sure that you get a lot of poses in a short amount of time. And then of course, if you have a lot more time, you can stretch these out and you can move through them a little slower and do different varieties within the movements and within the poses. Um, and one of the things I always tell my couples, like make it your own. So if I tell them like hold hands, I let them hold hands the way that they hold hands. Or if I want them to kiss, I'm gonna tell them to kiss the way they normally do, unless they kiss with like their eyes open or something, then I'll remind them to close their eyes in the photos. Um, but the most important thing is just to make sure that they're feeling comfortable and natural. And that's why these poses are purposeful and intentional. They, they are giving them something to do, something to do with their hands, something to say to each other. And you want to create memories with your poses. So that's a, one of the reasons why I have them whisper to each other a lot and tell each other things because they're going to look at that photo and remember, oh my gosh, that's when he said, this is what he loved about me. Or this is when she said, this is when she fell in love with me. Or this is when he made me laugh. And that was so funny, the thing he said. And that makes them love their photos even more. It also makes them really comfortable in front of the camera so that the photos turn out more natural. Um, so that is my really basic and quick and easy posing with purpose guide for you. I hope you enjoyed this free download and I would love to teach you more tips and tricks. So if you joined my email list, you'll continue to get things like this. Um, and I created the slides so that you can download them and keep them as well so that you can go back and reference them and um, make sure that you have them on you. You can even like download them into your phone and bring them with you and look at them really quickly before you jump into a wedding day or a photo shoot. And that will help you feel prepared by having that fresh in your mind. And then one more tip is I've had a lot of people say to me, like they freeze up when they get in front of a couple, like they're working, they're being creative, they're looking at the light. They're trying to do all these things and make sure their client has a really good experience. And then they forget like, oh my gosh, I can't think of something you know, a prompt or a pose and I'm out of ideas, especially like at the end of a long wedding day or at the end of a shoot with a lot of little kids or something, you start to feel out of ideas. So one thing that I do is I always go scout the location before I actually am shooting with the client. And um, I used to be a professional dancer. And one thing that I would do before I go on stage is I would look at the stage, I'd walk the stage and I would, as I was walking different spots on the stage, I would remember the move that I needed to do when I got to that part of the stage. and and just play it back in my mind. So before a, a couple arrives at a session or a family arrives at a session, I will walk through the location and think of the poses that I wanna do in the different locations. So when I hit that spot in the location, I remember, oh yeah, I wanted to tell them to hold hands here. And oh yeah, I really wanted them to do the drunk walk over here. And then when I'm over here, I remember that I really wanted them to sit down on this bench and do some of the sitting and cuddling poses. So that really helps me like make a game plan. So go ahead and download these props into your phone, bring them with you, walk your location beforehand and think of which ones you're gonna do at different locations. And hopefully that will help you feel empowered and ready and confident in your next session.